my father is Raymond Sandler. He was born in the year 1913 in Latvia. His father, Moshe Sandler, was a very learned yeshiva scholar. My father grew up in Tulsa, Oklahoma. He immigrated with his family when he was about six years old. My father grew up in a home in which he had learned the importance of Jewish values and that the most important thing that he could leave to his children was a good name in the community. My mother-in-law, Helen, supported him in everything he did. And it was important to her that those values were also learned and transferred to her children. My father came to Los Angeles in the late 1930s. My father was one of the original founders of Valley Beth Shalom Temple. I learned the importance of Judaism from my father, and I learned what Judaism really means from Rabbi Schulweis. I met Richard when I was 18 and he was 19. I was so struck by how many of his qualities were so much like my dad. His kindness, his caring, his humor. We met in a class we were taking together. It was a poli-sci class at Berkeley. And we were introduced by Lowell Milken. I knew Richard and Ellen would be a wonderful match. They had strong common values, a commitment to family, a commitment to the Jewish people. It was the best introduction I've ever made. Ellen and I got married right after I graduated. I was about a month shy of my 21st birthday and he was 22. Ellen cares a lot about people and cares a lot about the community, but probably very few people care more than Ellen does. She's completed me. Richard and Ellen are like kids with each other. There's a freshness and an innocence to their love that all the world can envy. And we've been married for 44 years. Trust is the foundation of all relationships, with our wives, with our children, with our friends. Unless you trust people, unless you know that you're, that you're safe when you speak to them, you can't build any relationships. I met Lowell when I was six years old in the first grade at Hesby Street School. It was on the playground during recess. I just challenged some third graders to a game, and I was looking for teammates. I remember that Richard was the first one to step forward saying, I'll be on your team. And we've been stepping up for each other ever since. We started a friendship that has lasted for over 60 years. When I think of Richard and Lowell's friendship, it's such an unbreakable bond built on trust, love, loyalty, and just pure caring for one another. In working with Lowell and his brother Michael over the years and people that I've met uh, have all taught me something that when there are issues in the world, you want to understand how everybody is approaching those issues, not just how you are approaching it. We learn more from people that don't agree with us than we learn from people who do agree with us. Richard has always had a strong passion for Jewish identity, for Jewish continuity, and he has the rare ability to build bridges among people that have differing points of view. I attribute that to Richard's openness to being a good listener, to his integrity, and his unending patience. Richard is a consensus builder. He's a listener. He's willing to put in the time. He's willing to put in the work. I have always tried to find a common ground between intelligent, caring people uh, to try to reach the right solution. Richard understands that whatever is important to us in the Jewish community, depends on creating another generation of young Jews who care about the Jewish people. What attracted me to Aish was the fact that I felt they did a better job than any organization I had come across in reaching out and connecting with the unaffiliated Jewish population. They go out of their way to understand young people, the language they speak and the world they live in, so they could communicate with them in their language and have an effect on their lives. Richard is all about connections about building bridges among people. Aish is all about connections, connecting us to each other, to learning, and to making the world a better place. We have learned so much from the organization. When I started my involvement with the Federation, I believed one of the great problems in our community was connecting with young people and teaching them why their Jewish values were important to them. So we developed a program called New Roots. And a lot of what we are doing are lessons that I had learned with my connection with Aish. 
Our children have had the good fortune of being raised in an environment where giving back to the community has always been a priority. They all have wonderful hearts and wonderful values. If you were to ask me how I'd like to be remembered, I'd like to be remembered as the father of Scott, Tracy, and Nicholas Sandler. I'm just in awe of Richard and his ability to put so much of himself into the community, into his work, into his family, into his friends. I feel we all have a responsibility to use whatever talents we have and whatever opportunities we have when we're on this planet to try to make a difference, to try to make the world better, and to try to bring people together for that purpose.